Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe at home. So guys, today we are going to be talking about a problem that we all as gardeners happen to face and I wouldn't be wrong if I say that it is a worst nightmare of a gardener to see his garden or his plants being infested with pests. So guys, as you might have noticed in the thumbnail, it's mentioned about controlling pests and not eliminating. That's because guys, you cannot completely eliminate them, but you can keep them in control. Now guys, even if you're using the most expensive insecticides over the time when the effect of the insecticide starts to reduce, they will again come back. So guys, in this video, we'll be talking mainly about mealybugs because this is a very common bug that tends to infest our plants, especially succulents. Our succulents tend to get attacked by mealybugs. And trust me, guys, it's very, very difficult to get rid of them. Now, guys, ants also play a very important role in getting these mealybugs. Let's understand how ants are related to mealybugs. So guys, here is a quick story. Now the ant is inspecting in your garden. What is it inspecting? It's inspecting for a healthy plant. Now once it finds a healthy plant, it's going to quickly go and get a mealybug. Now it might either get a mealybug from another pot or from another plant or from another place. Now once it gets the mealybug, it's going to attach the mealybug under the stem or under the leaf of your healthy plant. So now that the mealybug has got free transportation from one plant to another, is getting shelter under the leaf and is getting ample amount of food from a healthy plant. Now if you're wondering that is ant being a very good friend and helping out the mealybug, then guys this is not the case. The ant also had a motive behind this because now whenever the ant is going to be hungry, it is going to go to the mealybug. I'm not very sure what exactly the communication is between them but the moment the ant goes closer to the mealybug it tends to secrete out a fluid like honeydew now this becomes a food for the ant and that's how they work hand in hand now that being said about one ant so you can imagine what if there are hundreds of ants that are in your garden and doing the same work what we just discussed about now guys you can imagine the moment your healthy plant starts to become unhealthy they are going to move these mealybugs to another plant and this is how the cycle keeps on continuing and they keep multiplying in this way so guys i'm going to show you a few steps how you can control pest now these materials are readily and easily available because most of these things would be coming from your kitchen so it will be easier for you to find these stuff so guys, the first method is neem leaf extraction. All you have to do is collect some neem leaves. Just add those neem leaves to boiling water. Fifteen minutes into boiling, the water starts to change the color. So guys, after 15 to 20 minutes of boiling, now I have transferred it into this glass jar. I'm going to leave it overnight. You can even leave it for 24 hours. And the neem leaves that are left behind can be used in your compost bin or can be simply scattered on the soil. Now guys, you can either mix it with water and water your plants or you can use a spray bottle like the way I'm using here. Now I always tend to use a spray bottle because this gives me a uniform coverage over the plants. Now guys, remember there is always these two modes that you'll always find your spray bottle in. The first mode is the jet mode. Now the problem with jet mode is that whenever you try to spray, there is too much of solution that will tend to come out and we do not want uh, an excess amount of neem water to come in contact with the leaves so the second mode that we have over here if you tend to tighten the nozzle you'll get a misting mode now this is a very effective mode because this tends to give a uniform coverage over the leaves as well as misting tends to give a very less amount but an effective amount over the leaves now this is what i usually tend to do so you can go ahead and start misting your leaves in this way now guys it's just neem water so there is nothing much to be worried you can even mist over the succulents but ensure that you do not mist it too much so guys the second method is vinegar and water here i'm taking two caps of vinegar and adding in this spray bottle now i'm not very sure about how much ml of uh, bottle is this but in case if you tend to feel that it is too much then you can always add some more water but if you're using a liter of water then you can add like three to four 
caps of vinegar and mix it very well. So guys, for this method as well, we'll be using the misting mode. Ensure that you do not spray on the succulent or on the plants and neither in the soil. But we'll be spreading this around the pots. We will spray it around the pots or wherever you tend to see that there is a lot of ant activity. Now the strong and pungent smell of vinegar will keep a lot of insects away. Now guys, not only insects but even rats do not like the smell or the aroma of vinegar and hence they will also stay away from your garden or from your pots. Now guys, in the next method, we are going to be using dishwashing soap. Now this is going to be mixed with vinegar. Now in this spray bottle, I already had the vinegar solution. So I'm just going to be adding the soap. Now guys, you can add around 4 to 5 drops of soap in a liter of water. Now why are we using soap guys because the adult mealybugs are covered in a waxy coating which makes them difficult to control. Now soap will break down the bugs waxy protection and the insect basically gets dehydrated. But guys soap also contains harsh chemicals so you have to be very careful while using it on your plants. Ensure that you do not spray too much and right now I do not have any mealy bugs so I'm just showing you on the pot but in case if your plant is infested heavily then you can use this method but in a very limited quantity. So guys, the next method is sprinkling of cinnamon powder. Now guys, this is the most easiest and simple method and one of the most safest method to keep the pest in control. Now guys, if you're not comfortable with other methods, you can definitely go with this method. All you have to do is just sprinkle the cinnamon powder on the plants or in the soil. Now guys, do not uh, use this in the spray bottle because uh, cinnamon powder does not completely get dissolved in water and hence uh, those particles will block the spray bottle nozzle and your bottle might get spoiled. So do not use this in a spray bottle. All you have to do is just sprinkle some amount of it on the soil. Now you can repeat this once in three weeks or once in two weeks. It will be very effective. Now guys, it's very simple. All you have to do is just take a pinch of cinnamon powder and start sprinkling it on the soil. Now guys, you can repeat this every two weeks, every three weeks, depending upon how bad the situation is or how much of infestation is there on your plant. Now guys, it's even safe to sprinkle on the crown area, but ensure you do not sprinkle a lot. Just keep a very small amount because this is usually where the mealybugs also tend to attack. So do not add too much. Just add a very small quantity on the crown area and rest. You can just apply it at the root or the stem area. So guys, as other solutions were in a liquid form, so you have to be very careful. You do not place them in sun when you put the application. But here, this is a dry powder. So even if you leave it in the sun, it's absolutely fine. There is no problem. But only when you put the powder on the crown area, make sure that there is no water droplets falling onto it. Otherwise, it will start creating clumps when the water comes in contact with cinnamon. So guys, the last method to kill mealybugs would be rubbing alcohol. Now, I have kept this as a last method because rubbing alcohol is not available to everyone. But this is one of the easiest and the effective way. All you have to do is keep your succulent in a shaded place. Do not keep it in the sun when you're applying this. And with the help of cotton or with the earbud, you can just dip it in the solution and then directly apply on the mealybugs and the mealybugs will die. But ensure guys, before and after application, ensure you keep your plant in a shaded area. Now guys, apart from all these solutions that you're going to do it by yourself, but nature also has certain beneficial insects that also help us control these pests. There are some insects like lace wings, ladybugs and our garden lizards, spiders as well that help us control pests. So the next time when you see these insects, please don't harm them. Do not uh, 
hush them away from the garden because they are equally important as well all the hard work of preparing these solutions would have been less if you let these insects be in your garden now guys we did speak about ants everything about ants was a negative but by the end of the video i would also talk something positive about ants now ants also play a very important role in our environment ants tend to turn and aerate the soil allowing water and oxygen to reach to plant roots now guys ants also act as decomposers by feeding on organic wastes insects and other dead animals so it's not wrong to say that ants also play a part of cleaning crew so do not kill them but what you can do is just keep them away from your pots and gardens so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please consider subscribing to my channel and if you have any other ideas or solutions to control pest you can leave them in the comment section this could definitely help others and me as well and we can definitely learn something new until then take care stay safe bye bye